Hi everybody, welcome. If this is your first time here, my name is April. This is Plan with April. Welcome back if this is a return trip for you. Today I am planning in my cut down pen and gear composition notebook. Yes, I have glued two pages together so that I can write in it with whatever ink I want or doodle in it, whatever may be. And yeah, I cut it down to an A5. It's got a Midori cover on it. I've already done July, August, and now it is time to move on to September. If you have been following my, my channel for a while, you know that this row right here was a mistake while I was using my marker. Good times, good times. I want to figure out, I've got this yellow that I think matches really, really well, but I'm almost wondering if we could pick out like one of these really cute teal washies to go with. Dun, dun, dun. I am almost feeling like a skinny washi might be kind of fun. I'm really liking this one. It feels back to school for me. Pop uh, that one out there. If you are looking for a great way to store your washi tape, if you have a lot of washi tape like I do, these D-rings are available over on Amazon. And if you go down below, I have a link. It is an affiliate link, so I do get credit for it. And yeah, um, let's do, do I want to do a checkerboard or do I want to do, I kind of like the hearts. How are you guys feeling about the hearts? I'm kind of, they're, I'm kind of liking the hearts, but I'm also liking the polka dots. Mm, yeah, let's do polka dots. Because I also feel like the polka dots, because it says yay, also has the same color as this kit. This sticker sheet comes from the Carpe Diem sticker collection. It's a monthly, uh, seasonal. There you go. Season sticker pad. It's 12 sheets, one sheet for every month. It's 243 stickers total. Love, love, love. It has been in my stash for quite some time. And I finally just decided I need to use it. I am going to try to match this green. And I think it's going to be the 312. I'm thinking. So I'm just going to do a little mark here exact coloration. So I'm going to go with it. I'm just going to go with it. That was my swatch test. So knowing this entire bottom row needs to go, I am going to use some of my washi tape, grab my washi tape cutter. This is actually a painter's palette knife. If you have never seen one of these before, that is what it is. Oh, you know what? Nope bad. I want to go all the way to the end. Hold on to that. Um, if you are familiar with Bob Ross himself, he used one of these to make his happy trees and I am using it so that we can do, actually I want to do this one next, uh, washi tape borders. This is from a happy planner collection that I got a long, long time ago. I have never been a happy planner planner. That sounded a lot like a stutter. It wasn't a happy planner planner. I have never been one to really plan in a happy planner planner. It is a stutter because that's what I'm trying to say. I've never used a happy planner for my planner. Goodness sakes. Grab something to drink. Gosh, you're going to need it today, obviously, because I am not making a whole lot of sense at all. In my head. It does make sense. Okay, so I'm gonna pop this one down here. Perfect. Anyway, some of my most prized stickers are actually from Happy Planner Books. I think that's what I was trying to trying to get at. That this is one of my favorite washi tapes, and it comes from Happy Planner. You really can't see that one all that well, but you can tell that there is definitely some visual texture from it. And y'all know how I feel about visual texture. It is important. Okay, so let's go ahead and put down September. September. I don't think that's a real like tune, but sure. 
September. Perfect. Okay, and then let's get down the dates. So August left off on Saturday. So we are going to start off with Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. Na, na, na. These stickers are also brought to you by the Happy Planner. Let me grab. Dun, dun, dun. It's this, this sticker notebook. It is the holidays and dates. I have used this, I love it. My goal is to use 99% of it by the end of the year. So you will see this quite a bit while I'm planning because it has, it's just so versatile. It really, really is so versatile. And you have to be smarter than the sticker. Okay, number four. Number four really wants to play. There you go, number four. Thank you for participating. Number three, you are next. Maybe. Let's go from, there we go. Oh, goodness sakes. Butterfinger. Oh, it's because it wasn't quite cut at the top. Okay, that makes more sense now. Like, why is this not happening? One, two, three, four, five. Tell me that doesn't remind you of Sesame Street. Tell me how your day's been. How is, well, even your week. I have cut back on filming and publishing where it used to be. I published every day of the week. I miss meeting you in the comments. However, I do feel like I'm a little more consistent and a little more creative with content. So I was filming every day of the week and having a full-time job was quite tricky. Like there would be days that I was really questioning whether or not my layouts were genuine or if they were rushed. And if you've been here for a bit, you know I don't like to be in just in genuine, disingenuine. Mm, I don't want to be anything but genuine. I want you to enjoy the videos. I want you to find inspiration or maybe even a consideration of a layout that you've never thought about, but you were like, oh, okay. Wow, after seeing the layout on the paper, maybe you haven't ever been a horizontal planner, but you watch one of my videos and you're like, okay, a horizontal hourly? This is a concept I've never heard of and I want to try it. It got to the point where I felt like I was duplicating ideas and just using a different color to lay it out. And honestly, if I'm gonna do that, then I may as well just pop myself back into a planner that is the same every day, right? The joy of doing composition notebooks and spiral notebooks is you can make whatever layout you want on whatever week you want, and it is amazing. Like just the, just the, ability to make a different layout and I know it could be argued because I've done it before of turning a you know like a Hobonichi cousin into a different layout yeah it's possible it's a lot more difficult it's not as maybe easy and the other thing I have really been enjoying about the composition and spiral notebooks one two there's multiple reasons but I love that they are extremely frugal. You, you know, you're looking at a very affordable planner. And if you don't like a layout, like if you're doing this monthly layout and you're like, I don't like this, I have to have my boxes be square. Like these, these rectangular boxes are, I just don't like them. You can totally change that up next month. Or if you really get like a third of the way through this month and you're like, April, I cannot handle all of these, you know, mismatched, not square boxes. You can either tear the pages out or glue them together. I mean, no harm, no foul. And I think, you know, that's number, reason number 4,876 that I love <laughs> doing, you know, spiral notebook planners and composition notebook planners is just the ease of switching between layouts and not feeling necessarily that guilt of wasting a whole planner because if one layout doesn't work for you this week it might work for you the next week you just don't know right week to week month to month can be different and being in 
a specific layout planner can, you know, either feel stressful or could also feel like you are struggling to make it work. You know what's going to happen. You guys see it. I know you've already seen it. You have already seen it happen. I was going to mention it earlier, but I was like, no, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. All right, so 30 and 31 are going to have to go down here, which means this beautiful washi tape that we laid down, boop, will need to come back up. So let me try that one and that one. Perfect. And then 30 and 31. So I guess it wasn't that much of a mistake that I made these rows at the bottom. Who would have known? <laughs> Who would have thought, right? Who would have thought? Now, set that aside, put this away, because I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna need any more washi tape. I do wanna go in here with the Tombow 312, and I wanna do the days. And as you can see, hopefully you can see, I am laying my Tombow down almost vertical with the paper. Vertical? Yeah, vertical with the paper. I really want to get a thick line when I'm going through that. And I know I've said that before. Just saying it again, that's what I enjoy doing. So let's do Monday, Monday. Oh, that is so pitchy. I am not, I am more of a, I am not a tenor or a bass. I'm either an alto or a soprano. Although I did uh, smoke cigarettes for a couple years, longer than a couple, wink, wink. So my soprano range really digressed. So I'm probably more of an alto. I haven't smoked since 2015. So yeah, a little tidbit of information for you. I originally started smoking because I thought it would help me maintain or lose weight. Guess what? It didn't. Just so you know. If you're looking at vaping or anything like that because you want to either lose weight or, you know, don't. It, it didn't work for me. 10 out of 10 wouldn't recommend it because quitting was hard. It was difficult. I don't know why I went to Sean Connery. Sorry. Okay, so here's what we've got. This is how we do it. All right, so I'm kind of, I'm kind of stuck with those days there because there really isn't anything in there. So one, two, three, four, five. I need six. Let's do. Oh, look, they have a composition. <gasps> they have a composition notebook. I do love that. Okay, so hello September. I love this. I definitely want to use that. Friday Night Light, that's cute. I love this and this. So why don't I do this stack of books? Because I think that is adorable. Let's put those there. And then let's pop down the composition. Because why not? And then let's do plan on it. Yes, Surrey Bob. Right there. Perfect. Um, I do like the school bus. I think it's adorable. I'm struggling with like these larger. I like this back to school one, even though I don't have anybody that I'm sending off to school. My granddaughter is going back to school, so that'll be good. Let's do a pair of glasses here. Let's do... Let's do the school bus up here as well. I think it's cute. And we can just add that in there. Fill in, fill in those holes. September, let's do this one with the Friday night lights. Actually, we should have done that on Friday. What am I thinking? Did you catch that too? And you're like, uh, April, you also have Friday open. Goodness sakes alive. Thank you for hollering it out. It was probably you that my subconscious was like, hey, hey, lady, listen to your, listen to your people. Listen to your people. All right, I want to, I want to lay this down and then let's get this straight 
Friday night lights. Perfect. Okay. And then I definitely want to mark the 14th. Hi, Mark. This is our wedding anniversary. Wes and I. A cute little Hello September. Got like this one we can put in there. Let's do this here. And then we'll do Hello September next to it. And then Saturday. You got this. Does it, that work or is that too tall? That's too tall. Darn it. That was really cute. Let's do paper clip. Paper clip. You can hear my chair squeaking. Sorry about that. And an apple and the pencil. Because I don't think we can really have back to school without a pencil. Also, can I just tell you that I am so looking forward to back to school like office supply sales. And when I say office supplies, you know what I mean. Like composition notebooks, spiral notebooks, all the things. Because it's the boost. Okay. Is there anything else I could add over here? I could do the little clippy or I could do the alarm clock or I'm feeling the alarm clock. I think that's cute. Perfect. This was so fast. I love how this one came together. We've got the washi tape. It looks bright. It looks very cheery. It looks very back to schoolish. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this layout. Let me know what you think about the stickers. Hit the like. Get that subscription box checked. Uh, I will see you down in the comments. I hope you have the best, best week. I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.